Hi there, as usually it's me, just a voiceover and you're watching review machines. Today our review is about city caucus, quite popular kind of electric transport throughout the world. Here they are, the newest models, bike and track. City caucus are very successful electric scooters, many people love them for their efficiency and nice looking design. We have city caucus made by White Siberia brand. Today we will make the thorough test of the scooters, find out the maximum speed and range, actual prices and many other details. Well, it's high time to begin. And first of all, we'll see at the construction of these vehicles. Let's go! Both models have electric motors with 3 kW power. The power is the same, but the motors are different. The bike is equipped with a rear electric motor wheel. The trike has an external electric motor that drives rear axle through the differential. We'll find out today the difference between these solutions. Each model has two lithium batteries. One is in the bottom of the frame and another is under the seat. Each battery is 60 volts and 21 amp hours capacity. In this way the total capacity is 42 amp hours on the each bike. All the batteries are locked. There are keys to unlock them. Both scooters have the similar suspension system, spring hydraulic fork at the front and spring suspension at the rear. Besides, all the bike have disc hydraulic brake system of all the wheels. By the way, the trike has a reverse mode. To switch it on, you should press a special button and then push the throttle. The seats are quite comfortable, there is enough room even for two people. The dashboard is bright and simple, with all the necessary info. There are rear view mirrors and the start button like on the modern cars. There is a phone holder with a charging. The lights are very powerful. Headlamps, stop and turning signals are very bright. Both scooters have rear boxes. And the trike has the additional rear trunk made of steel tubes. The fenders are made of flexible plastic. Well, actually, we've covered all the main details of the construction of the bikes. Let's do some practice. Well guys, I'd like now to share with you my thoughts why I devote so much time on this channel to electric transport. The point is that only with electric vehicles you may enjoy your rides in a special way. Warm breeze in your face, mild sunset light, bird songs and the beauty of the nature around us. You can feel these bright and pleasant details riding only on electric transport. It's hard to notice them if a combustion engine adds some noise, vibrations and exhaust. I think there is every reason to say that riding a gas vehicle, you are the rival of the nature, but riding an electric one, you are part of it. Well, let's get back to the certain practical things. Our city cocos have a perfect drive on asphalt. They move quite and smoothly without any noise and vibrations. Especially I like how the bike goes. Despite it has quite a big fat tires, it has an impressive idle run. Release the throttle and the bike will be running for a surprisingly long distance. The disc hydraulic brakes are also fine, no any problems with them. Well, it's such a pleasure to ride these bikes on asphalt, but now it's time to test them in other conditions. We will get back to this road later to measure the maximum speed, but now let's move on.
Undoubtedly, these scooters are cut out for asphalt. But we should test them also on a rough terrain, cause many people buy these vehicles to use them in the country. Besides, there is a quite good suspension system. So let's see how it works on rough terrain. And here, in these conditions, we can see the certain difference between our bike and trike. There is a loose and slippery ground of terrain, and it's hard to keep balance on the bike. But it's absolutely not a problem for a trike. You ride this vehicle like a quad, without any difficulties with balance. Besides, as we can remember, the trike has an external reducer motor, and it provides more torque that is good for moving on rough terrain. That is why, if you are going to ride mostly on rough terrain, you should choose a trike. On the other hand, the bike has other advantages. It's going more smooth. Firstly, it has only one track, as opposed to the track that has three tracks. In this way, you cross three times less roughnesses riding on a bike. Besides, the suspension system of the bike feels much softer. Then I think the track is more suitable for those who like a calm riding without any surprises. But riding a bike definitely provides more fun, though it's more dangerous in some way. Then I should mention that both bike and trike have a standard water resistance. You can use them in rainy weather and cross some puddles. But it's forbidden to plunge motors entirely underwater. If you need a more serious water resistance, you may improve it with some tuning. But in most cases, the standard protection is enough. Well, generally speaking, these city cocos are perfect transport for countryside. You may really enjoy every ride. Only mosquitoes can spoil your ride. Let's banish them. Well, now we have to do the main tests, but let's get back home first and recharge the batteries. To charge the batteries, we use powerful 5 amperes chargers. It takes only 4 hours to recharge the batteries from 0 to 100%. It's a new day, and we turn on our GPS trackers to measure the range. And while the batteries are full, let's check the maximum speed now. The bike is the first. According to the official specs, its maximum speed is 70 km per hour. As we can see, I could reach 67 km per hour. Now the track. In fact, the track is not cut out for high speed. That is why the maximum speed here is limited up to 40 km per hour. Well, we are moving on. Today we have a windy weather that can inflict the range in some way. I am riding a track, my colleague on a bike. My weight is 87 kilos and he is about 100. We are going at a 40 km per hour speed. That is maximum for a track, as we can remember. Frankly speaking, it's a boring procedure that takes a lot of time. But it's so interesting to find out the range. Besides, our vehicles are rather comfy, so I wouldn't complain. And after some time of riding, let's learn the results. The range of the track is 83 km. And the bike has a result 98 km. I think it's quite an impressive result. And now let's speak about the prices. The price of the track is $1300. The bike costs $1500. Mind, these prices are for the set with one battery. Additional battery costs about $300. Thanks for watching, my friends. Please post your comments what you think of these vehicles. Let's call it a day now. Consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. Stay with us. There will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.